CataractCoach.com, IOL Exchange, and Parv's Plan of Vitrectomy. The patient complains of multifocal misery and floaters. Fun case here from the master, Steve Safford. Now, on his podcast, he was mentioning about all these cases he's doing, especially in cases like this where the patients have a tremendous amount of vitreous debris and floaters, vitreous cineresis, plus the patients are just unhappy with the multifocal lens. So he calls these few patients to get this multifocal misery. Now, it's not to say you can't be very happy with a multifocal lens. I have many patients in my practice who are thrilled with a multifocal lens. So that's not the issue here. So you can see he's marking off a steep axis there, getting an incision made. Not sure exactly when this cataract surgery was done, but key here is to be very careful in dissecting that lens out of the bag. Now, the posterior capsule is still intact here. You want to be able to reuse this bag and get the new lens back in the bag as well. So this is a, looks like a toric trifocal lens. And so visco dissection is the name of the game here. So visco dissection to get that fluid wave of dispersive visco as it going behind the optic. Look at that wave. Beautiful. Now remember also you've got to dissect out the anterior and posterior capsule leaflets. Right now they're probably very adherent to each other. So important to dissect them free and be very cautious. I like this two-handed technique here. There you go. See that bulbous tip? Remember, this lens looks like a panoptics toric, has a bulbous tip on the end of the haptic. And so you really want to be cautious here and not yank because you don't want to break the bag. So again, two-handed technique here with the micro forceps in one hand. In the other hand, carefully dissecting that haptic out of the bag. Look at that. Beautifully done. You saw it give away. Beautiful. Now, to remove this, I would do my twist and out technique. And you've seen that published here on Cataract Coach. But Dr. Saffron is going to use these micro scissors. Hey, whatever works for you. And cutting that lens. And you can also just cut it 90% of the way through. You don't have to go all the way through. Because then the, the pieces are still connected. You can pull out one half and the other half will just follow. So that's another neat trick. Now, here we go. Getting that other half out. And so then it's going to be time to clean up all that vitreous debris. You know, we've seen more and more presentations now showing that uh, a lot of the vitreous debris and opacities can have an effect in a refractive sense even for, for poor quality of vision. So here comes the IOL now going right in that capsule bag. And looks like a torque lens as well. So getting that positioned appropriately. And now cleaning up what looks like a bimanuals kind of setup here. And getting the viscoelastic removed. There we go. Very nice. And now up oh, some viscoelastic. And there is a posterior segment viewing system. Here we go. There's the torque eye. Well, you can see the torque marks pretty well. Now look back there. So he's going to make sure he's got a good PVD there and do a complete vitrectomy. So now pars plana, three-port vitrectomy, just to clean out all the debris that's in the vitreous. You can see all that vitreous cineresis here, a lot of floaters, maybe a Weiss ring going down too. And no wonder the patient really wasn't happy with the quality of vision. Because especially with a trifocal lens, all that vitreous opacity can, have, can degrade image quality even more. As you know, any trifocal lens is going to cause some degradation of contrast. And, you know, by having all these vitreous opacities, that's going to make it even tougher. So cleaning all that out is going to give the patient some really nice vision. And so good, complete cleanup here. Make sure you check all the periphery. Make sure the retina looks good. Check for entry site breaks when you're done. And here we go. Now look at that. Now look at this. The vitrector now using it to open up the posterior capsule. So you don't have to worry about doing a YAG capsulotomy later. So a nice controlled cut opening of the posterior capsule just to have a nice visual axis here and not have to ever worry about a future YAG laser capsulotomy. Nicely done. Beautiful case here. And of course, the patient is very happy. So nice stuff here. Thanks, Dr. Saffron, for sharing. Here at the end of the case, taking out the, the parts for the pars plana vitrectomy. And again, patient's going to have a very nice outcome. Thanks for watching and be sure to listen to our podcast where you could hear that episode with Steve Saffron. He'll tell you all the secrets. Plus, check out our website and don't forget to follow us on social media.